Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here. In this video, I'm going to try to describe to you the relationship between pixels per inch and image size. Remember, as I said in a previous video, pixels do not have size. Only pixel dimension on the X and Y axis determine the possible final size of your image depending on how many pixels per inch you want to utilize and the recommendation of course is always at least 300 for most viewing distances from like arm length to say three feet away from the wall so here i have a bunch of examples of this beautiful pair of shoes and if you look up here at my ruler this is one inch and so i have an image that if i was to size it down to the actual size it would physically print at this particular size. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Image, image size. And as you can see, it is one inch by one inch. And this has 300 pixels per inch. Okay, so here, this is the original one. I cropped it from my original image. So I will get a beautiful looking, fully detailed print, one inch by one inch. Now say for instance, I want to print this, but at two inches. So this would be two inches. And now, rather than 300 per inch, I have 150 per inch. I still have 300 pixels from this corner to this corner. And the same on the vertical axis. So 150 is what I have now. That allows me to print at two inches by two inches. If I kept it at 300 without resampling, I would only be able to print at one inch. So let's go ahead and look at the third example. You see nothing has happened, but take a look up here. One, two, three, four inches. In order to be able to print this at four inches square, four by four, I had to reduce the pixels per inch to 75. So as you can see, I have been able to print this image at four by four, but I had to reduce the pixel per inch density to only 75. What will that do to my image quality? Well, as you can see, that's what happens. So let me show you what a pixel looks like. If you zoom into the photograph, you start to see the actual pictures that create this image. You can see some magenta bluish pixels here, some greenish gray ones, and so on. Every one of these would be a little mosaic tile. Now, if I walk backwards, say this is on a wall, and I walk backwards, at some point, that mosaic on the wall with one inch tiles starts to look pretty much continuous tone. So again, viewing distance is everything. Now let's talk about resampling. Say I wanna print the one inch, the two inch, and the four by four inch, but resample to 300 pixels per inch. When you resample or up res, you're actually creating pixels where none existed. So you're not gonna gain any more detail. You're just gonna get rid of this so-called pixelation, the little steps that show up whenever there's something that is not perfectly vertical or horizontal, but at some sort of angle, some sort of curvature. You will notice immediately that you have this pixelation. The same thing will happen with this one, even the 300 per inch one. If I blow it up enough, you're gonna see the pixelation. Let's go over to the resample one. So this would be one inch by one inch at 300. This is the one we originally saw. This one here is resampled. This is two inches by two inches, but resampled to 300 pixels per inch. So you can see two by two, but at 300 pixels per inch. So the pixelation is no longer apparent, but look at the horrific loss of detail. Even though you do not have pixelation, you do not have detail. So resampling is not a magic way to allow you to print large and expect to all of a sudden gain detail where none existed to begin with. Let's look at the really extreme example. This is the four by four up res to 300 pixels per inch, even worse than the previous one. As you can see, there's just a hint of detail here. If I blow it up to this size, you still do not see pixels because I oversampled my pixel density to 300. But basically all I did was create fake pixel density. Okay, so this is what the results of that is. So again, the best way to print is to make sure that your initial pixel density is high enough. 
Let's go ahead and open one of my current images. And here it is. This is what it actually looks like. You see, I actually cropped just a small section of it. And this, even at the native resolution, can be blown up quite a bit without any pixelation beginning to show. At my native resolution, which is extremely high, let's go to pixels, 5574 by 3730, you can see that I can print this at 15 and a half by just over 23 inches without any kind of uppressing. So I am printing entirely with my native resolution. Had this been a low resolution image, then I would not be able to simply uppress this to a larger pixel density and expect it to provide me with the same amount of detail than had it been printed to a smaller size, still maintaining the native resolution of the actual image. It's a little bit confusing, folks, but pixel density per inch is everything when it comes to printing large images. You need a native file with enough pixels on the horizontal and the vertical to allow you to print at 300 native pixels per inch without having to resize and cheat creating fake pixels by upresing. Now there are some softwares that do this very well and are actually able to almost fake detail to the point where if you overdo it a little bit too much, you will end up looking a little bit unnatural, but it allows you to print some very large prints from images that already contain a high density of pixels such as this one. All right, I know this is a confusing subject in one that a lot of people just don't grasp, and it took me a long time to grasp this, and it was one of those aha moments. I actually woke up from a weird dream and started thinking about this, and it hit me, and I finally understood it. So you will get it, and there's a lot of questions about this very subject on many of the printing forums. But again, just open up your images, check them under image, image size, and see what the actual pixel resolution is for these. Your images that you're trying to print, this is at 240, which is entirely reasonable to print with. So if I choose to go over to the inches display, it tells me that I can print a pretty huge image right off the bat. And even if I up-res this a little bit higher, it will not really affect detail. As the larger the print, the farther back you normally choose to look at it, unless you're a pixel peeper and stick your nose right against the print, which is really totally unreasonable. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on the subject, just ask below, and I will be very glad to try to answer them for you and to clarify any of the confusing aspects of this subject matter. So thank you once again. Please subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, everyone, happy printing. Bye-bye.